My name is Major General Marsha Anderson. I'm retired from the Army. I was born in Wisconsin in Beloit. I have spent over the majority of my adult life in um, government service as a member of the military and the Army Reserve. And I spent several years on active duty towards the end of my career, culminating with my assignment to the Pentagon. And I'm also a retired federal court um, executive. And I'm a member of an organization called Mission Readiness, which consists of over 750 admirals and generals who are extraordinarily concerned about our national security. And in that um, vein, we are advocates for improved childhood education. The importance of early child care is not just because it provides parents with a respite, but it provides children with an outlet. Um, and we all know that early childhood education is an indicator of later success in adult life. The socialization, the introduction to pre-math and pre-reading um, opportunities is a significant indicator of your ability to succeed later in life and to graduate from high school. One of the reasons that Mission Readiness is so interested in early childhood education and, and obesity um, is because we know that over 70% of youth between the ages of 17 and 24 are not eligible for military service. And the reasons they're not eligible for military service are education, lack of education, the inability to uh, score well on our entrance um, examinations. Over 25% of our recruits are not able to score well enough on the math and reading portions of that entrance exam. Uh, they're overweight for, from a lack of, a, of a activity through their lives. And of course, some of them have, because of some of their um, earlier outcomes in life, have gotten into to criminal activity or drug abuse. So that 70% is not eligible to join the military. And as I mentioned, we know many of those um, lack the ability to do well in school. And, in, and nationally, 15% of our youth do not graduate from high school. And while some people may think that we take a lot of people in the military without uh, a high school diploma, that is not accurate. It's a very low percentage, and it's only under very, very stringent circumstances. Early childhood education and child care will have an impact on our economy, not just now, but in the years to come. The way I like to think of it is, you look at the, the three or four-year-olds today, in 15 years, they're going to be entering the workforce. And we want to be able to enter the workforce with um, strong math and reading skills and the ability to be critical thinkers. And so if we don't provide, certainly our government does not provide um, funding for innovative programs to sustain our current programs, our next generation is not going to be able to help Wisconsin be a leader amongst our, our peers in the Midwest or in the, in the, in the United States. So. Early childhood education, child care, uh, while they may seem like it's just kids playing, it really isn't. It's, I look at them as our next generation and we need to invest in them now.